people who were mentioned in someone's suicide note, what's your story? Around May two years ago, my mother tried to commit suicide and I remember finding the note after I found her. When I went to find her I thought she was somebody trying to break into our house so I went and grabbed a knife, it turns out the noise I heard was her body flopping against the door. I ended up being able to make sure she was okay but I think what killed me most was her note. She stated that my two sisters and I were all she had and, since we were growing up, she didn't have us anymore. She wanted to leave this world so badly. Mom is currently going through some issues and this story hits way too close to home. Do you mind me asking how your mom is doing now? I'm an only child, a male, with a single mom, so I understand how it feels about growing up and mothers feeling like they don't have their children. It's hard. Not really a suicide one but to end odd life goodbye one. He was sick and almost got through it, but at the end with weak immune system, cold was enough to get inflammations on everything. He was almost 18. Till this day the perfect person for me. And most important of all, the only real rock I had who was there from the moment we first met. He wanted to make me laugh. He always did that. Made a few jokes. Terrible ones, dad ones. Still made me laugh, and made the pain more durable. I miss those lame jokes. Sorry to hear of such a close loss. May the spirit of his jokes echo from those you now jest with too. He wanted me to know he loved me. That it wasn't my fault. That I was the best friend anyone could want or have. That I should have his car. That he thought he was going mad and was saving his brother and me from the madness. I showed the note to my therapist. She thinks he had schizophrenia. His mom did. It's been six years. I'm still not over his death. Doubt I ever will be. Schizophrenia is a horrific and depressing disease. My aunt has it. She's now 40 and lives in a trailer in my grandparents' front yard. When I was a little kid she was normal as can be. Used to be a male lady and had a fiancé. That person doesn't exist anymore. I'm sorry for your loss. I'm still not over his death. Doubt I ever will be. Yeah, you don't get over death of close ones. You just accept it, in time. No note, just a phone call to preteen me that had stayed up too late because my single parent mother had gone out looking to score whatever pills would sate her addiction, kid me had no idea, adult me now knows it was obvious. I don't remember the call completely, but I do remember being annoyed she'd kicked me off the dial up by calling in. She said and made me promise a bunch of things that felt very serious but also very confusing and then we hung up. Police officer knocked on the door a few hours later and everything changed. No one but me knows about that phone call, especially not my brother. I'll be the exact same age she was, down to the hour, in roughly 500 days. I keep a countdown timer on my phone. One of the promises she made me make was to live longer than she did. I'm so sorry. I was a teenager and a close friend killed herself. She wanted me to have her music collection, leather jacket, and a screenplay she wrote. What is the screenplay about? My 19 year old friend left his computer to me. It took 6 to 8 months before I actually got it as the police were searching it for cryptic messages. There were no secret messages. Just my friend knew I didn't have a PC for university. He also sent a late night email before he passed to me and two other people. That night police knocked on my parents door to check on me as they thought we were all playing a suicide game with each other. I wasn't living at my parents at the time and it freaked them out quite a bit. When my stepdad, and the father of my three younger brothers killed himself last month, he didn't leave a note. What he did do, I didn't even know that was possible, was queue up three texts, so they wouldn't be received until the morning after. At exactly 8 a.m., all three of my brothers received a text from him. To my two oldest brothers, 19 and 17, I love you forever. I'm sorry, I just can't live with this any longer. To my youngest brother, 13, you are a very special boy and I'll love you forever 20. I asked my youngest brother if it had made it better or worse. 
he said worse. Do you know what he was referring to when he said, I just can't live with this any longer? Did it hurt your feelings that he didn't message you also? I hope that doesn't come off disrespectfully, just an honest question. Question to those who have been told I love you, it's not your fault in someone else's note, did that help or did it make you feel more guilty? Word for word, that was the last thing she said to me over the phone. I just kept repeating where are you? Please, please tell me where you are. I just wish I had said something different. Maybe I could have told her something to change her mind. Asked her to think about the kids we were going to have, the life we could live together. But all I did was ask where she was. I was the last person she spoke to, and I didn't tell her how much I loved her. Kinda worse, to be called out for how you made someone feel good in a time of feeling nothing but bad is saddening, makes you feel like you could have done more. Or it did for me edit, can't believe how many people have seen this, I don't post much and I don't speak about this stuff ever but just know I am extremely touched. I love you all. Stay safe friends. My amazing cousin killed himself when I was 16. He was 26. We found the note a few weeks later. He'd singled out immediate family members with a love, goodbye note. No one else except his four siblings and parents. Then there was my mum, my brother, and then me at the bottom. You're going to grow up and be amazing, you're going to be a star. You don't know it till your fav person in the world thinks the world of you, and that's the last thing they think before they die. And you have no idea how to live up to it. Haunting and inspiring. You don't forget it. I'm sure he didn't say that to put pressure on you to be a star slash be perfect slash be a high achiever. I would think that he simply believed in you, and would have supported you through your successes and failures. Apparently they owed me five bucks. I didn't even realize. This is what's so horrible about mental illness, you can turn something like owing someone a fiver into a rationalization for being a bad person who deserves to die. One of my friends took his own life in college. I owed him five still. I kinda felt bad for never paying him. My boyfriend blamed me in his note and professed his love for someone else while condemning me. So sorry. I'm sorry that happened. That's terrible. Even though nobody was mentioned, this specific note stays close to my heart to this day. My dad is a retired detective, and one day a few years ago he came home from work visually distraught. I usually talk to him about his day so I asked him what was wrong and he told me a young man, I think around 22, had committed suicide and the note broke his heart. I asked what it said and it read something like mom, dad, I'm sorry I couldn't be stronger. I hope to see you both someday in a place that's beautiful. I don't know why I'm reading this thread, it's just making me sad as fuck. Subscribe for more hot reddit takes in your inbox, guaranteed.